the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 84, Judges 13 to 16. The Nazirite Samson. Although Samson was born a Nazirite and exerted tremendous power and was used by God, his last days did not live up to God's expectation. First point God continuously tried hard to find a good leader to renew Israel. After the descendants of the Mana generation entered Canaan, they continuously failed to obey God, and so God sent the Philistines to attack as punishment. However, all throughout, God always had mercy on Israel. Amidst God finding a leader to renew the people, there came Samson the Nazirite. But Samson pursued Philistine woman and ate honey that was on a dead animal. Hence, he disobeyed the law of being prohibited to touch the dead, even if that dead body was the body of your parents or siblings throughout the period of their dedication to the Lord. The body right must not go near a dead body. Even if their own father or mother or brother or sister dies, they must not make themselves ceremonially unclean on account of them, because the symbol of their dedication to God is on their head. Samson killed the Philistine people who killed his wife and his father-in-law. He did manage to deliver the people from the Philistines, but on the whole, during the 20 years as a reader, he proved to be a disappointment. In the end, Samson completely fell for the seduction of Delilah, which led to his downfall. Samson asked for God's help one last time and died with the people of Philistine. Second point, God intervened with the special law in the kingdom of priests, which was the large light law. After a few years had passed since God gave the law of a kingdom of priests, God went himself to meet a family. God went to a man of Jorah named Manoah. Manoah's wife was barren and therefore had no children. But the angel of the Lord appeared to her and told her that she was to give birth to a son. And so she was not to drink any fermented beverages or unclean foods. She was also told not to touch a razor on her son's head, as the son was to be a Nazirite from birth. The son was to grow up to deliver the people of Israel from the Philistines. Third point, despite it being the period of judges, Hannah and others knew about the laws in the kingdom of priests, including the large light law. God gave a special law of the kingdom of priests through Moses, and this was the large light law. This law is recorded in Numbers 6, verses 2 to 8. After a few hundred years, Thankfully, there was a family who knew about this law. This family was the family of Manoah. Another surprising fact was that Hannah also knew about the laws of Nazirite. In her deep anguish, Hannah prayed to the Lord, weeping bitterly. And she made a bow, saying, Lord Almighty, if you will only look on your servant's misery and remember me, and not forget your servant, but give her a son, then I will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life, and no razor will ever be used on his head. Fourth point, Samson lived according to his will more so than obeying the laws of a kingdom of priests. 
the roles of a kingdom of priests concerning becoming a Nazirite involved the same level of dedication as the high priest. A Nazirite was not to drink wine or eat other unclean foods during the time they offered themselves to God and they were not to touch a razor on their head. These three rules were must in order to become a Nazirite. The Nazirite, like the high priest, was not permitted to touch a dead body even if that body was the body of their parents. In theory, Samson should not have married a Philistine woman, but Samson did as he pleased and decided it would be best. If he pretended to make peace with the Philistines and then attacked them. But Samson did indeed disobey God's command by marrying a foreign woman. He furthermore disobeyed the law by touching a dead body, a dead lion, and also the bone of a donkey. Despite being educated about the laws by his parents, Samson disobeyed the laws and also lied to his parents about doing so. Indeed, Samson did not take his law or tasks by God seriously. Fifth point, the giant Samson had a light and wavering heart. The mind of Samson wavered immensely. His heart wavered between God's command and Delilah's seduction. His heart resembled the people of Israel whose hearts wavered between God and the idols. In the end, Samson could not overcome the seduction of Delilah, and the price he paid for it was his eyes being gouged out and being changed. Then the Philistines seized him, gouged out his eyes, and took him down to Gaza. Binding him with bronze shackles, they set him to grinding grain in the prison. Gouging out the eyes was a very painful and traditional method of punishing someone in the ancient days. And making Samson grind grain was a humiliating act. But despite Samson's disobedience, God still used him to kill the Philistines. God had been waiting for Samson's hair to grow back. Samson's repentance eventually meant that he was able to regain his strength. His end was with the Philistines. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.